Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how alcohols can be dehydrated. You should then be able to explain why this is an example of an elimination reaction. And if you're following the AQA spec, then you should be able to outline the mechanism for the dehydration of alcohols. Ok, I'm showing you here the alcohol cyclohexanol. Cyclohexanol is a liquid at room temperature with a boiling point of 162 degrees Celsius. Now we can convert alcohols into alkenes and I'm showing that reaction here. In this reaction we heat the alcohol under reflux in the presence of either concentrated sulfuric acid or concentrated phosphoric 5 acid. And the concentrated acid acts as a catalyst for this reaction. In the case of cyclohexanol we produce the alkene cyclohexene plus water. Cyclohexene has a boiling point of 83 degrees Celsius. So at the end of the reaction we can purify the cyclohexene by distillation. In this reaction we're producing a water molecule from the parent alcohol. So scientists say that the alcohol has underwent dehydration to form the alkene. Now the dehydration of alcohols is an example of an elimination reaction. In an elimination reaction a small molecule is removed from a larger parent molecule. So in the case of dehydration of alcohols the small molecule is water. Now I just want to make one important point about the dehydration of alcohols. I'm showing you here the dehydration of the alcohol pentan-2-ol. In this case we can make three different alkenes. In pentan-2-ol the alcohol functional group is on carbon-2. If we remove this group plus the hydrogen on carbon-1 then we make the alkene pent-1-ene. However if we remove the alcohol functional group plus the hydrogen on carbon-3, then we make the alkene pent-2-ene instead. Now pent-1-ene and pent-2-ene are structural isomers. However pent-2-ene can also consist of two different geometrical isomers. And we looked at geometrical isomers in the video on stereoisomerism. We can make cis or z pent-2-ene as well as trans or e pent-2-ene and I'm showing those here. Ok, now if you're following the AQA spec then you need to be able to outline the mechanism for the dehydration of alcohols using a concentrated acid catalyst. In the first stage the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom are attracted to the positive hydrogen ion from the acid catalyst. The lone pair now forms a covalent bond to the hydrogen ion. We formed an intermediate molecule with a positive oxygen atom. Now the pair of electrons in the covalent bond between the carbon and oxygen move on to the oxygen atom and I'm showing this in red. This causes a molecule of water to be released. At the same time the pair of electrons between a carbon and hydrogen now move between the two carbon atoms and I'm showing this in blue. This means that the hydrogen is now released as a hydrogen ion. So at the end of the reaction we have the product alkene and a water molecule. We've also regenerated the acid catalyst. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe the dehydration of alcohols.